Guys, day two here for the paintwork on the E92 M3 here at SSR Auto Body. Let's check out that bumper and fender. guys just saw the fender and the bumper they look so 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 good and that's not even polished yet so let's go ahead throw in the car and then they're gonna go ahead and polish it when it's on the car um i think my car is chilling right over there like a villain so uh let's get that baby out You guys saw the M3. We're gonna take it home, get a full polish. I'm with my man Shaw right now. What's up, man? Uh, the car, bro, the paint looks amazing. <laughs> I literally want to tape it up, but it's not the safe thing to do right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna take really good care of it. I'm gonna drive like 40 feet behind cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks away. so good. But once we get home, I'm gonna do a full polish, show you guys the car um, when it's all matching because the front end looks too good now, bro. Yeah, it does. That the rest of the car looks <laughs> <laughs> controversial. Yeah. And you still so, need the grills and the reflectors. It's all yeah. at home, yeah. yeah. So I don't want to show you guys everything just yet. I want to get it home, make it look beautiful, throw everything on there. But bro, the car looks amazing, you, which I really appreciate. And like, like I said, guys, SSR Auto Body, I drive out here um, to get all the major stuff done on my cars because they do amazing work. You Thank guys you, do bro. insurance work as yeah, well, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So full collision, like if anyone gets an accident, we take all those cars in. We work with all insurance companies. Um, get your car, you know, done right. That's the main thing. And of course, also get it done in a really quick, quick fashion compared to most of the shops that are out there. So. And for those of you guys who watched my last video when I was here, um, I actually need to show your machinery again. I'm actually throw a clip of all the machines they actually use for yeah. everything. Guys, hop of the line stuff. Like yeah. Yeah. nothing has been like cheaped out whatsoever. That's what I absolutely love. Like you guys use the best of the best, even for wheels and tires. Yeah. Simple jobs like that. Yeah. Um, when they actually put on tires and stuff like that, it never touches the rim. So you never have to worry about your expensive $2,000 rim getting scratched or yep. anything. Yep. Which yep. Bro, I'm literally standing on top of people when they're doing yeah. tires on it. I'm like, I swear to God, if you put that fork in there, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're gonna have a problem. But anyways, guys, if you guys want to get the best paint on your cars or any, any body work at all, you guys do literally everything. everything. Make sure to SSR Auto Body, Shaw's the man, hit them up, call them, uh, book an appointment, guys. And again, even if insurance claim anything at all, you guys are local to this area, just get the car towed here. Mm -hmm. You guys actually offer um, free Toast. towing? Yep, yep. Free, free towing yep. to here yep. and then free estimate, right? Yep. yep. So, guys. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing yeah, yeah. if you're local? I mean, obviously, if your sack's a little different, but if you're from sack like I am and you need some good paint, come down here anyways. Yeah. It's definitely worth the drive. But uh, yeah. yeah, bro, I mean, got anything else, bro? I mean, I, I, bro, I appreciate you. Every yeah, time no, I come no, down no, here, like, course, again, I love course, you so course, much, bro. Course, bro. Seriously, thank you so much, man. <laughs> yeah, of course, it dude. It a lot that you drive all the way down here to us, man. It's like, worth it, dude. Like you and all our other clients, I, I mean, we get a lot of guys from NorCal and stuff. And I mean, Nevada, Chicago, New York, like literally people drive out here from everywhere. Honestly, we just appreciate you guys coming out here. And it's like, it, it means a lot to us because it tells us that we're obviously doing something right. Yeah, whether it's <laughs> you guys are doing everything right. Or quality perspective, or or just like the overall like experience. Like honestly, we just want to be the absolute best that we can be. And on, honestly, one thing I'll also say is that I know that you 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 talk very highly of us, and I really appreciate that. We're not perfect. We try our absolute best. Um, and at the end of the day, we're always here to take care of our people. So um, you know that that's what's most important, and, and we'll always be that way. So, <laughs> bro, the humbleness. <laughs> All right, brother. I'm going to go home. Six hour drive again. I appreciate you as always. All right, brother. Take it easy. <laughs> and guys, it is 5.30 a.m. right now. It is the next day. We're going to try to be heading back to our area because actually our uh, frame appointment that I told you guys was three weeks out. Just give me a phone call and they want the car today and uh, we're six and a half hours out. So uh, we need to head back right now.
pulled to our first stop, just getting some gas, filled up a shell over here. And uh, yeah, we're trying to make it home on a good time. I mean, we pretty much left, we left early, so we should be good. I'm gonna hit in and out in probably an hour and a half, because uh, we have another three hours left. So in an hour and a half, we'll get something to eat. Um, and then three hours, hopefully we'll get back home. And then we gotta fully dismantle the front end of this thing, call a tow truck, because not only did we get this car painted in this video, we're actually taking it out of the frame shop. Our frame shop appointment did come up, and it's actually today. So we're trying to get there early before they close and uh, get the frame pulled out because that'd be insane and then hopefully hopefully once we get that sorted we'll do a full paint polish and everything uh, but yeah main goal let's get home and get this front end disassembled home i have the hood popped up right now we just got back from the car wash look what ssr auto body did guys these two panels look so 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 good it makes the car look literally brand new and because of that i'm actually gonna have to get the whole car fully polished soon so we're actually getting this thing stage two buffed and polished and we're also gonna be doing some ceramic coating to the entire car um with my boy jose so that's gonna be coming up in a future video if you guys actually want to see that process make sure to smash the like button so i can talk to my boy jose and see if i can actually stick there and film the process but yeah guys ssr auto body did a fantastic job it looks looks absolutely amazing and unfortunately we do have to take off the bumper once again but that's only because today we're getting this thing frame pulled so before I should take it all this stuff apart right now I just want to put it out there guys if you guys have been involved in an accident recently make sure to hit up SSR Auto Body they do free towing service free quotes and guys their work is literally top of the line I absolutely love it and again that is why I drive out from Sacramento all the way to LA to get my work done I mean obviously I did two things at once because it was such a long drive I got the rod bearings and the paint work done but if you guys need some big major things done make sure to head over to SSR Performance and SSR Auto Body. They are run by amazing people at the same time they do amazing work. But anyhow, without further ado guys, let's go ahead and pop up this hood, remove the bumper, and remove as much things as we can to get that frame rail exposed. Alright guys, so now that we got the bumper off the car, I think the next two things you have to remove is these headlights. So I have to remove this headlight and that headlight. There is a couple screws from behind there, two right here, um, two right there, and I think this whole headlight should come out. Again, we have to just remove both headlights. I believe to remove this guy, that guy, then the crash bar, maybe this little guy, that little guy, and then uh, yeah, that should be it. I'm hoping I don't have to disconnect any coolant or anything like that, any radiator stuff. That's the goal because I don't want any fluids to be leaking from this. I want to literally be able to actually drive it onto a trailer. I don't want to actually have any issues with overheating or anything like that so hopefully hopefully we can actually remove this whole front and radiator support without actually having to disconnect any hoses or any lines that is the goal Guys, I got the cooler held up by bungee cords. Now we got this frame rail exposed and primarily this is the one we need to get exposed. I'm gonna throw in a short little clip right here of how it actually looks. It looks perfectly straight. Like it doesn't look like there's any bends to it whatsoever, but back there exactly where the bolt is, um, that's where the wheel kind of pushed in the metal. So they just need to pull out a little bit of the metal, but at the same time, they're gonna be holding it from here to make sure that this doesn't get out of whack. So meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and call AAA, go take a shower, um, and just wait till they show up. Five hours later. Guys, 
guys, just pulled up the frame shops right there. Let's get the M3 unloaded and get it in the frame shop. Yes, I'm a lint roller. As soon as I got home, Muffin was pretty much shedding like crazy. But yes, guys, we finally got back home. The car is at the frame shop. I'm just so happy with the progress and how everything is just lining up. We got the full front end paint job done. Um, the hood, possibly we'll be getting it painted in the near future. That thing is kind of annoying me, but at the same time, uh, you know, money, budget, guys. We're still trying to figure out what's going on with the i3 exactly. It hasn't sold yet, so um, yeah, we're just hoping it brings in as much money back as possible. Um, we're definitely probably not going to be making our money back, but at the end of the day, if we can at least make some money back, I'll be pretty happy because that car has been an ultimate money pit and uh yeah anywho back to the m3 on the plus side we got the front end painted by ssr auto body it looks absolutely stunning and now it's at the frame shop hopefully getting that frame perfectly aligned so that both can go in there for the sub frame and it's absolutely perfect like a clean title should be thankfully it's not like buckled or anything so it's a very 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 light pull like literally all they need to do is hold it from the front hold it from the back and just pull it from the middle and we're good like if that's all it pretty much needs it's not buckled or anything so thank the lord muffin just uh <laughs> <laughs> loves being muffin. But anyways, guys, that's going to have to conclude the video. Hopefully, in the next video, um, I'll keep you guys posted what happens with the M3. I doubt it's going to be done super quick. But uh, same time, again, I'll keep you guys posted as soon as I know information. You guys know information. But in the meantime, guys, I am looking out for the next build on the YouTube channel. The M3 is coming together. And at this point, we're just going to be modifying it. But we always need another build on the channel. And we definitely need something to help us get to the ultimate goal, which is the Audi R8 by the end of 2022, which I'm so hyped for. So let me know down below what particular engine. So I used to say cars. And the thing is there's a lot of cars I like and there's a lot of cars I don't like and there's a lot of cars we, we have to do the builds on because we need to experience every single one uh, but at the same time I'm just curious like the N54 and the N55 do you guys want to see a B58 do you guys want to see more S65s do you guys want to see the N55 from an, uh, from an M2 let me know what kind of engine you guys want to see on this channel if it's from the M6 the M5 the X5M or, or X5s what kind of car do you guys want to see on the channel and do you guys want to see engine performance modifications or just rebuilds <laughs> without further ado guys I love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you on the next one peace out